We're here, stranger. We're not strangers anymore, little light. You can call me Elsie. Or Elizabeth. Whatever works. Okay. Elizabeth it is. And once again, I prefer Ghost. So, what's our plan? Despite our best efforts, the Vex Gate within remains active thanks to Eremis. Destroying it loses us a vital link to the Vex. A story for another time, perhaps. For now, we need to focus on stopping any further incursions from the portal. Understood. We'll take care of it. What is up, my squad of lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Destiny. Today, we're going to be going through the Glassway Strike, the lone new strike added in Beyond Light, at least that is actually part of the Beyond Light campaign, but that is a story for another time. Uh, well, what I actually mean by that, we're just going to be making our way through. Most of this takes place down here in um, the Vexified portion of Europa, not really anything all that complicated. We're just going to be going through and defeating the boss at the end, or should I say bosses, but I'll uh, let you... Uh, I'll let you see what I'm talking about a little bit later. For now, I'm back to using my young Ahamkara's spine, which I really haven't used all that much lately. Uh, mainly just because it's a lot of fun, even though I am terrible with trip mines. And uh, we're just going to be making our way through. We've got Ace, got my shotgun. Got I got I brought back out Love and Death actually from the Shadowkeep campaign just because it's a it's a nice little complimentary heavy that I figured was going to do me fine here as long as I use my heavy very sparingly. Okay, now we're going to want to watch out for those guys. There, there's a few of those bosses throughout, or mini bosses throughout this uh, strike that are going to really give you hell with stasis if you're not careful, trying to freeze everything. Luckily, our teammates seem to have everything at least semi under control. Kill that guy, and then I'll let get him get the res, and then we can continue. But yeah, we're just kind of fighting room by room as we go. Uh, not really anything super special. Uh, not until we get, I think, past this part and into the next area. Then we're going to start to run into some unfamiliar territory. And uh, probably my favorite parts of the strike, too. So we got another big guy in the back. We're going to have to take him out. It says Technocrat's assistant, even though we've already uh, killed the Technocrat. Uh, oh, come on now. Don't you dare. Do some damage to you. And then I can... Oh, wow. They... That guy killed him immediately. Probably just used a shotgun. They're not that strong, so it's it's not really that hard to do. But, I mean, granted, this is just a standard strike. And difficulty on these has never really ever been all that high. Not without modifiers in the way, at least. Take a few of those out with my knives. There we go. Here we are again. Cleaning up another of Clovis Bray's messes. I'm sure wherever he is, he's laughing at us. He's the reason all this is here in the first place. The darkness told him to build the portal. It's his fault that Vex invaded. His fault so many people died. I did everything I could to help. It still wasn't enough. There's no use in quantifying the help you give. Any amount is enough. You've done far more than most. And it's only just begun, little light. You know, I don't know if I really like the fact that she refuses to call Ghost by what he wants to actually be called by. Seems a little bit, like, almost unfair, especially when uh, we keep calling her Stranger and then Ghost is like, no. Or, or she's like, no, we just call me Elsie. And then it's like, okay, we're willing to respect that wish. And then she's not able to do the same in kind. But we're going to get up to an area here soon where we're going to start running into... Well, we're not going to be able to move at all, actually. We're going to basically just be waiting on a plate. Uh, kind of like sitting ducks as a lot of things start to come at us. I'm not too worried about this because it's very easy to crowd control your way through this. So let's just kind of step up on this plate here. Now, there's going to be enemies coming from both sides. Uh, lots of shanks, mainly. Uh, sniper shanks, exploder shanks. Obviously, the exploder shanks are top priority because if they get here on the platform while we're letting the fluid drain uh, from this. We just die immediately. Let's kill that one first. And then I'll start using my Memento Mori shots to take care of some of the bigger ones. There we go. Right, let's get some of the guys out there who are going to be causing me a lot of problems if I don't. And now we got Vandal Snipers that we're going to have to start killing. 
they're not too bad. Just make sure you have at least a somewhat decently long range weapon. You are not going to be able to hit them with sidearms or, super, or submachine guns, and they will mess you up bad, especially in higher difficulties of this strike. But I think we're starting to get into Exploder Town now. There we go. Make sure they blow up. Everyone look on the left side too. Okay, we had Tracer Shanks out there. Blow those up. Probably reloading more than I need to, but there goes another Exploder Shank, and now that the fluid is drained, we may proceed. So more Fallen are going to start to kind of crawl. I mean, I guess not crawl out. They're literally dropping down, but for some reason, they're dropping into the Radial area, which I can't imagine is good for their health any more than it is good for ours. So we're going to have all sorts. I mean, I haven't been able to use my trip mines at all in here just because of the nature of this place. Has not really been the best. Here, let me get you with that. There we go. That'll actually get me a fire sprite so I can get more grenade energy back. Beautiful. Look at this. Ace of Spades is getting work done. All right, we got guys up there. Hopefully the firefly explosion killed both of them. And then over here, we got a shank. You have to kill everything in this room, otherwise you cannot proceed. But then it will go down and welcome everybody to the boss room. Very, uh... Very short strike. It's it's not super complicated, but this is probably the best part of the strike anyway. All right, so we're going to kill everything in here. We got dregs about. There's a captain, I think, that spawned in the middle there. But now begins the real thing. We've reached the portal. You know what to do. So that right there is the boss. Oh, and so is that guy. <laughs> Belmont the Transcendent Mind. So yes, we need to kill both of these guys. Now... Belmont is huge, so Belmont is going to be moving all around the center of this area, kind of minding his own business, while the Transcendent Hydra is usually going to run off and hide in either the left or the right side of the area. Now, to progress to the next phase, we need to get both of them to their health thresholds, but the good news is that the Transcendent Hydra cannot do the boss stomp, so we can just shotgun it uh, with Reckless Abandon, pretty much. Belmont, on the other hand, we need to be attacking at range a lot more. Now, I have my knives for exactly this reason, and when Belmont pops out again, I think I'm gonna focus on him because he is a lot scarier. Oh, okay, we got Wyverns, hold on. We hit you with a grenade launcher shot. Probably didn't need to fire the last of those, but whatever. Okay, Transcendent Hydra's already weak. Yeah, I've definitely got a crew of really overpowered uh, people here. I mean, myself included at this point, if I'm being honest blow both of you up. All right, as soon as he comes out, he's getting a bl blade barrage to the face. If I can get around that shield. There we go. And that did put him over his health threshold, as I knew it would. Somebody put a well behind me, so I think I might go grab those orbs. Not that I'm going to need them, because there ain't no way I'm getting a super before this is all over and done with. Lots of things. We're just spawn killing everything at the portals at this point. It's kind of crazy. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but this is how most of your runs of this strike are probably going to go, is just this absolute decimation of the enemies, even though that is not technically the correct way to use decimation. We've killed enemies so fast, we've got one of the... Uh, one of their models is just straight up glitching out. Okay, I did not... I meant to get around the shield there. Okay, that's a little iffy. Let's not get boss stomped here. Okay, this is where things can get sketchy, is when you let yourself get overrun like this. So let's kill the big guy, uh, the little guy first, then the big guy. He will stomp me, but it doesn't matter, because restoration saved me. And down he goes. That's the last of the Good things, evil bastards. Until next time. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this very short episode of Let's Play Destiny. Thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.